Look, can't complain, man. Everything's great. Yeah. I'm Gucci, I'm straight. Nothing but positive vibes this way. Really just blessed to see another day. God done gave me a whole lot of great. Hello, fire signs of the Yin Yang Game. Welcome back, A1 Day Ones. Hello to you if you are new. I'm so Pisces. I intercess on behalf of all elements: Earth, Air, Fire water via the holy spirit representing the fifth element star seeds um focusing on shadow work um so if you're feeling me feeling my vibe please remember to like comment and subscribe okay and um please check out g certified they're on my intro awesome artists all that information can be found in the cards in the description box below okay this gang star tarot baby let's go a few quick announcements fire sign so Real thick energy when I'm tapping into your energy, real, real thick energy. Like, this is big, this is huge. So, today for me is uh, May 3rd. Okay, we're on a Tuesday, it's ruled by Mars, the Roman god of war. And when I, when I was thinking about that, I was like, okay, on Tuesday. So, the sun is in Taurus. The moon is in Gemini. We are currently in a waxing crescent phase at 8% illumination. So the sun being in Taurus. Taurus is ruled the second house. Keyword, I want. We went into, well, what do you want, fire signs? What is it that you really, really want? Being that the moon is in Gemini, which is the third house, I think. So you might be all up in your mind thinking about the shit that you want, the shit that you want to do. And it seems like not, not just your element. You're really on fire. Like you guys are doing this shit. You are, well, we'll get into it. So this is your first quarter moon message. The intent is, and I'm praying for courage, loved ones coming home, wishes being granted, any per, any personal struggles, physical challenges, wealth, luck, constructive magic, friendships, attraction, success, praying for motivation, divination, calming, strength, and growth. Alrighty. So let's go ahead and get into your reading. So the first card that I got today for you all was villain. Villain. All right. I didn't even light the candle. Let me light the eternal flame. I'm tripping. And give you guys some Palo Santo. Hopefully you guys are doing well. Even the cards that the Spirit had me use, the tarot cards that I'm going to pull out, I don't use these a lot. It was weird how the Spirit had me do it. But anyway, so we got villain, right? We got villain. You can rewrite the story. So they're right off the bat. I see this girl crushing this, this shell and there's some personal tragedy that we've gone through and it's to the point where it pissed you off. You're like, you know what? Can't nobody help me. Like I've got to fix this. She's matter of fact, she's not trying to fix it. She's going to smash it. I see music notes. So you may be listening to music. Maybe you are a musician and I see the moon working with the moon, working with the lunar, working with the stars, working the law of attraction, uh, praying, meditating, whatever that is for you. Okay. Thank you, spirit. And then um, one of my favorite deities, Jesus, said, well done, thou good and faithful servant. So I was feeling a lot of blue. I was feeling a lot of open communication. But I was really feeling like the spirit saying, you know what? Good job. Get it out. Okay. Good job. Good job, fire signs. That's all I want to say. Tapping it into your energy. Um, being that it's Tuesday, I took out some red jasper for you all, some pyrite. Um, and some titanium kyanite. Okay. Just really wanting to pray all these good vibes over you. Remember, if you don't have any of these crystals, you can use clear quartz and it can be used to set any intent within the chakras. All right. So let's get into the rest of the reading. So then the keepers of the light, I pulled this out. I really wanted to read this to you. The wall cool is Dharma unfolding. Remember that you are on a path. Take one step at a time to happiness. Okay. The wall cool known as a Tibetan Buddhist master. He is said to have many incarnations, including as a devotee of Buddha himself and one of the three wise men who honored baby Jesus. Through this early experience, he has learned to the importance of spiritual practice and discipline and knows that the path we are on, that we are on unfolds over time. He is now helping light workers follow their dharma, dharma, which is Sanskrit word meaning from right way of living. When Dewal Kul appears in a reading, he reminds that he reminds you that you're on a path unfolding as it should. So take one step at a time and remember that only spiritual function can lead to happiness. You are a powerful person with many lessons under your belt and a real capacity to share your wisdom with the world. Take the time to get over what you have learned 
recently recognize the strengths it has brought you and acknowledge where you've been courageous. Dual Cool is now working with your angels and guides to help your journey unfold like a beautiful lotus flower, one petal at a time. This was so beautiful because right after that ascension came out, okay, it's like the world card. You are doing what you are supposed to be doing here in the world or you are receiving downloads on what to do. Like you're definitely thinking about it. Like what am I here to do? What am I here to do? And a lot of you are actively doing that. Even if you're not really doing anything at all, you are still in alignment. That was beautiful. So Dharma unfolding, you are... You are right where you're supposed to be, fire signs. I thought that was really cool. And then being the villain, this is villain card also implies that sometimes your enemies win. So you may be in a situation where you feel like maybe the other person is doing better than you. Maybe um, other people are better than you. Somebody won in your eyes. Maybe you feel like you lost, but you can rewrite the story. You can start all over. You're still the winner. That's a specific message for someone. Okay. And then uh, the Crystal Healing Oracle, the one that you guys got was Rose Quartz. So, of course, I took plenty of Rose Quartz out and put it on the altar for you all. If you have some Rose Quartz, I would highly sur just suggest that you just hold on to it. This really helps with personal struggles, okay? That was something new to me. Um, forgive yourself. Love and beauty approach. Loneliness is at an end. Emotional blockages dissolve. Do not accept the blame. Recognize that unconditional love and friendship draw exactly the right people to you. Once you love yourself, you can give and receive from others. Support is available in a crisis. Unconditional love is the greatest gift you can give to yourself and another. So the frequency is medium and high, depending on the clarity. The chakra would be the heart chakra and the timing would be Taurus and Libra soul path radiating unconditional love. And, you know, Libra energy is all about partnership. It's all about marriage. It's all about duality. So for some of you, you may be going through some type of heartbreak or some type of crisis with your loved one, but unconditional love is what you're about to receive through spirit, through source. I thought that was beautiful. Okay, spirit. I offer gratitude to you, most high. King of kings, Lord of lords, Alpha and Omega, beginning and the end. You are who was, who is, and who is yet to come. The great I am. Our Redeemer, our Healer, I worship you. I humble myself before you, but yet boldly offer you up a sacrifice of praise, asking for a message for the fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, that need to hear it. Offering myself as a living sacrifice before your throne. Do with me as you see fit. Holy Spirit, come, my leader and my guider, and to all truth and to all knowledge. Shekinah, you have been my best friend. Please give me a message for the fire signs that need to hear it. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. All in a golden afternoon. Inspiration, creative spark, imagination, and conception. Exactly. You are birthing something. We have ascension here. Okay. This is going ahead and doing what you came here to do. This is a lot of yin energy, which is the feminine energy, but we also have yang energy, the masculine feminine. Determination. Determination. I'm really feeling like, you see how they're holding something in their hands? I'm really feeling like, Maybe you're an artist, you do something with your hands, or you have the gift in your hands. Um, maybe you grow things, um, but working with your hands, okay? So we're conceiving something. What else, spirit? All in a golden afternoon. Also, I'm getting a lot of blue. You may want to surround yourself with a lot of blue. Blue is the color of communication. Um, tomorrow, um, which is Wednesday, would be a great day for blue. Lapis Lazuli, curious and curiouser and curiouser, discovery, inquiry, weirdness, and curiosity. So yeah, I'm feeling like you're very creative, very unique, <laughs> weird, as they put here. Um, and I feel like what you've tapped into something and it's getting curiouser and curiouser. You're getting deeper and deeper down the rabbit hole. But you're onto something. You're birthing something. You're rewriting a story. You're starting something. This is beautiful. This is next level shit, fire signs. This is next level shit. Wow. Okay. Alrighty. So I'm using this vampirous tarot. I don't know if y'all can see it in the back. This is one of my darker. This is one of my darker decks. I don't really use this one a lot, but Spirit told me to bring it out today. Beautiful deck with roses. I'm going to try to leave the um, review 
up in the cards if you guys would like to check it out. I did a review of this a while back. A message spirit. Right off the bat, we get the emperor. Come on now. <laughs> emperor energy. Okay. We got the emperor here. The emperor is very dominant. Fire. Very, very fiery. And the two of pentacles. Two of skulls in reverse. So... What I'm getting with this, okay, so right at the back coming in, Emperor energy, you on your throne, Aries energy, you know, very, very, very um, assertive, aggressive, fiery in your element. But with the two of pentacles in reverse, maybe you're not making the money or maybe things physically have not come into fruition like you'd like them to. But when I see her in the mirror, spending time in the mirror, this is self-reflection. This is spending time with spirit and source. This is self-reflection, really thinking about what you want. Okay, with that Gemini energy, like I said, thinking about what you want. Really, really thinking about what you want, meditating um, with self. And I see you becoming like a totally different person. Like the person that she is right here, like she's wearing rags, but in the mirror, she's got a beautiful gown on. Like that is your future. Looking. But some things just take time. It may not be coming as fast as you want to. And I was also hearing that in the spirit fire side. So slow down. I feel like you're gun ho You're on track. You're doing this. But don't forget to chill out a bit. Um, two of swords. Yeah, a lot of indecisive thinking and thinking and meditating and going back and forth within your mind. Um, what else, spirit? Knives, those would be equivalent to swords, which is your mental. Your mental and your money is what's on your mind right now. Mentally, you got money on your mind. Seven of swords, okay? And this is something quietly. This is something that I feel like you're doing. You're not, you're not telling everybody about it. You're just working on it. Working on it. Um... Also, I'm feeling like there's some things that we just still need to let go from the past and completely let that go and move on from that before we can completely ascend to the next level. But with that, whatever that you're feeling right now, I feel like with this Dharma unfolding with Dewal Cool, that you are on the right track. But take one step at a time to happiness. So maybe you're moving too fast. Judgment. We got the judgment and we got the world card. judgment okay so i'm feeling like with this because the three of skulls which would be like the three of pentacles came out i'm feeling like we've decided to do something you know and it, it, we tried collaborating we're trying to collaborate we're trying to reach out and do something with somebody but it's like you're going to take this step up for you me myself and I, i'm hearing somebody say i'm seeing somebody really with they self a lot sitting down with they self comfortable with self talking to yourself yeah. Ten of Swords. So we got a lot of air energy. Um, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius energy here today for you, fire signs. You might have that a lot in your chart. So yeah, I'm really feeling like we got the Hermit and we've got the Ace of Knives. I'm really feeling like maybe overthinking overthinking it's almost like spirit wants me to say slow down things are unfolding you're right where you should be things are going to unfold exactly how they should you got to be patient you got to be patient patience is a virtue but you are on the right track you are definitely on the right track with that hermit energy i'm feeling like spending a lot more time with spirit we've got the um finally we've got scepters i wonder where your energy was we got fire um okay so the Lord of Scepters and the two of girls in reverse. So maybe we are not in a relationship. Okay. So we've got this young masculine energy in reverse. This would be unbalanced energy. That might be something that some of you needs to let go. Um, this might just be that unbalanced energy within yourself. Um, that maybe some of us need to work on and really letting go and really forgiving yourself and self-love. Forgiving yourself for something. Or some kind of tragedy. God is saying, well, well done though. Well done. Oh, wow. And we're going to stop here. And then I'm going to get some animal cards and show y'all some love. Because this just makes total sense. Because then I'll pop the magician. And the daughter of Grill. This is like the, um, what? The page of cups. 
Okay. So we are manifesting. It's like you're manifesting here. Um, but needing to work on your emotions, needing to work on that emotional side. You might want to check your moon sign, really tapping into the moon, working with the moon as well as the sun, being balanced within the feminine and the masculine of yourself. It's okay to be vulnerable. It's okay to be hurt, but we don't stay there, right? We're going to pick it up and move on. And I feel like you are doing that. But then sometimes I got to do this and I got to do that and I got to do this and I got to do that and I got to do this. Not taking time for self-love. Self-love. For yourself okay all right spirit i like it so i'm pretty much done i'm going to um if you would like to donate to my channel i'm going to tell you like a personal reading all of that information can be found in the description box below also in the description box please go to nasherecoin.com check it out if you're into crypto um as well as i'm there and there's a direct way to reach me through that website nasherecoin.com thank you okay um Okay. All right. Spirit. Okay. We'll pop that. Wow. Hawk. Messenger. Spirit is sending you messages. Open your greater vision to see the signs. Focus on your priorities and eliminate distractions. You have a bright future. Let yourself ascend to new heights. We're ascending. Okay. We've got ascension. We are ascending. It's like, good job. The only thing I feel within this reading is love and comfort. Don't worry. You're making the right decision. You're on the right track. Some things just take time, a step at a time, um, and maybe personal struggles. Somebody may be having some personal struggles, something that you're really not wanting to talk about. Receiving messages. Okay, one more spirit. Oh. Also, just working with the sun. And the first quarter moon is, um, I believe it's on a Sunday. I believe it's on a Sunday, but even if not, Sunday would be a great day to go out and work with the sun, banishment of negative energies, bringing of healing energies. Okay, spirit. Your message from the fire signs. Okay. Oh, wow. Then we have the grizzly bear power. I am indestructible. I honor my intuition and go where it leads. Love and gentleness are my real strength. I never give up. I will receive. This is the energy that I came into this reading with. Like, look at her. She ain't finna play. She's squashing it. You're killing it. You're killing it, fire signs. You're killing it. But don't forget to slow down. Don't forget yourself. I will succeed. I'm never giving up. Grind mode. I love it. Alrighty, that's all that I have for you all today. I wish you all well, and I'm just here to remember to remind you who you are. You're the star. Bye.